I created an Orgon Pyramid that works. And I did it under an hour. Don't get fooled by beautiful scams online that try to sell you fake Alibaba pyramids that look like this. They're beautiful, yeah, but none of them actually work. This is the only way how a real working Orgon Pyramid can look. I'll explain why and how to make it. Orgon Pyramids and Orgonite have the power to disperse negative energy and negate EMF radiation. Orgon increases the speed of plant growth and can even heal some diseases. I'm a skeptic, so when I first heard this, I spent a month studying how to create a working Orgon Pyramid myself. And in the end, the making of the pyramid took me just about an hour. But when it was ready, I tested it multiple times and the results were not what I expected. The pyramid actually worked. After one of my first pyramids was ready, I oriented it with one side perpendicular to magnetic north and I placed a fruit over it. At the same time, I placed the second half of the fruit on the side. Both fruit pieces hung for about one month. The fruit over the pyramid was completely preserved. Well, there were some spots here and there, but it was not rotten and the other one was rotten. I did this with grapefruit, lemons, cucumbers and tomatoes. And it worked every single time. I even placed random objects under the second fruit just to make sure it wasn't the object itself affecting it. After you create your own pyramid, you can test this at home and you'll be amazed. I'll share my step-by-step -step process of how to make your own organ pyramid at home without any special equipment. But don't skip any parts of the video because even if you miss something small, you might end up with a non-functional pyramid. So let's start with the list of what you need. To be honest, you have the majority of these items at home. Scissors or a razor blade. A large cardboard piece, a hammer, a piece of cloth or in my case, my old trousers. A plastic bag, preferably a good color. Glue. A staple gun can also work for the cardboard. Epoxy resin. I'll show you how this looks. It's practically one little tube like this. And it has this thingy that makes it stick in the end. It makes it harden. You can find the epoxy resin in any hardware store or DIY store. You will also need metal shavings or metal dust or both. Copper wire is optional as well. You can make a spiral out of it. I'm not gonna use this for the video, but if you want, you can do it. Then you're gonna need a quartz rock or sediment rock that contains a high quantity of piezoelectric crystals in it. Don't get scared by this. Uh, actually, any piezoelectric rock would do and I'll explain where to find these for free. Perhaps the metal shavings will be the biggest problem for you to find, but the easiest thing to do is to find a nearby construction company or metal manufacturing facility and either go through their construction trash or ask them for a few cups of metal shavings. Aluminum, iron, zinc, copper, everything slightly magnetic works. These are common in DIY stores as well. Now that we have everything from the list, we need to design our pyramid. I'll share with you my exact design and you can even copy it 100%. This is how your design should look like. I'll try to explain how this pyramid works in scientific terms and this will allow you to create one that actually works. Quartz is piezoelectric, which means when pressure is applied to the quartz crystal, they produce electricity. The metal shavings are going to transfer the electricity toward the peak of the pyramid. The epoxy resin is going to insulate and hold everything together so that energy doesn't leak elsewhere. And the resin which reacts to heat pretty well will also produce pressure with every single temperature change in the surrounding atmosphere. The pressure will force the quartz to produce electricity and the fact that everything is insulated from all sides and this electricity cannot leave the pyramid will generate a small electromagnetic field. Align this properly with magnetic north and we have an electromagnetic amplifier or Oregon pyramid. Another important thing here is to use the same proportions as the Great Pyramid of Geza. We're doing this because I read a book that's called The Power of Form and it explains in great detail how pyramid structures affect objects of different nature because they partially manipulate the electromagnetic field of the earth on a minor scale. The base side to side height ratio of the pyramid is 1.23 
This means if the base height of the pyramid is 5 inches, then the height should be that divided by 1.23, which is 4.06 inches. Now get the cardboard and draw 4 triangles with the following dimensions like this. Base of the triangle 4.74 inches, height of the triangle 3.78 inches, and the sides should be around 4.33 inches. And when you're done, cut it out with the scissors. Now we will trace a pyramid and make it look like this one. Just lay the triangle flat on the cardboard in the left corner and start tracing. Do this 4 times counterclockwise and you'll get something like this. Now we place a little extra on the side in order to glue the, or tape it. Now grab a knife and trace the line so that we can fold the cardboard easily later. We need to make sure that the extra piece remains on the outside of the pyramid so that it doesn't affect our mold. The bigger the pyramid, the more powerful it will be. But Epoch servicing can be quite expensive. For a small pyramid like this one, I paid around $25 for material. Have that in mind when you're building your pyramid. This is pretty much all we need to start. And now it's time to glue it. Let it dry for a few minutes. And when you're sure it's ready, place your plastic bag on top of it. This is going to be our mold, and here's where we will spill the epoxy resin, metal shavings, quartz and copper wire. Now it's time to prepare the quartz sand. You need a rock that contains quartz, like this one. You can find such rocks on mountain, terrain or near riverside. It's easy to tell if there is quartz in a rock, if it has these tiny shiny particles that reflect light, it definitely has crystals in it. Once you have your rock, Put it in a blanket or a firm cloth, go somewhere where your wife or roommate won't protest because of the noise, and start hitting it with a hammer. You're going to turn it into small pieces eventually. Give it a good beating. This might take some time, but it's absolutely essential to your success. Now make sure your pyramid is upside down and perfectly level. Put it on something like a circular hole to hold it, and it's time to create our pyramid. Put the plastic back. Put the plastic bag over it before we pour any epoxy resin, because no matter how well you created the pyramid mold, cardboard is going to leak. With the plastic bag, it won't. Make sure your bag is in perfect condition and that it also has no holes in it. Now we need to mix metal shavings and quartz dust, mix the epoxy resin with the other liquid that solidifies it together and then add it to the pyramid mold. The liquid that solidifies the resin comes in the perfect quantity, so don't worry about that. After you mix the two liquids, they will change color and you will see a slight film come out. Now that we have poured the epoxy resin with also the other liquid mixed together into the mold, we need to add everything else. It's important not to have sticking metal parts or on any of the sides of the pyramid. They need to be contained inside. For that reason, we're going to add a little extra epoxy resin on the bottom or now the top after we mix everything together. And this is also the reason why we put the epoxy resin first. The mix between metal shavings, metal dust and quartz should be around 50-50. You can also skip the metal dust or the metal shavings. You need either or both, doesn't matter. But you need quartz and some metal inside 100% of the time. Remember that your pyramid should be very very heavy and it should contain more quartz and metal than epoxy resin. However, we need the epoxy resin to be enough so that it passes through all the metal shavings and quartz crystals in the pyramid because it's going to be what creates pressure in the system. Let's not overthink and mix it. After we've mixed it, we just need to wait for 24 hours and our pyramid will be ready. After you've stuffed the pyramid with a good mixture of metal and quartz, pour out the remaining epoxy resin to insulate the bottom. If you see that there's too much empty space in it, feel free to pour in more quartz and metal. But remember that at the end, all sides of the pyramid must be made out of epoxy resin and that the metal and quartz should remain inside insulated. After we've mixed it, we just need to wait for 24 hours and our pyramid will be ready. There it is! Now we just need to peel the plastic bag. That's optional actually, your pyramid can be very beautiful thanks to the partially molten plastic bag. 
you can carefully use a sharp knife to remove the remaining plastic or keep it that way. It wouldn't affect the pyramid in any way. But now it's time to see if it works. Bananas for the faster. So if you wish to test your pyramid now, let's do a quick test together with bananas. Come back to rewatch this part when you're testing your own pyramid to make sure you do it properly. What we need for the test? We need a banana, we need a string to tie it to and let it hang over the pyramid. And we also need our new organ pyramid, a compass or GPS app on your mobile phone. Because we're gonna orientate the pyramid towards north. Now it's time to cut the banana in half, hang half of it 2 inches over the pyramid and the other half we should hang away from the pyramid. Then let's check it in two days. If the one over your pyramid is still edible and looks good, you've made it! And congratulations! Let me know in the comments below if it worked and compare it to the other banana. I will answer all subscribers questions below. And if you haven't heard about the gateway tapes, it's time you dive into them. Now that's a sign from the universe. Watch the next video I made about them because it's mind altering. Thank you for watching. I'm Dan Ksuisoko and this was Into the Unknown.